Hey there, Crystal Covington here with another amazing member feature. I have with me Kristen Kessel, and she is an intuitive coach and spiritual mentor with Radiant Heart LLC. She's here to share a little bit about what she has going on and some new opportunities for us to catch up with her. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, Crystal. Thank you so much for the introduction. Really happy to be here and excited to talk to you. Yeah, thanks for chatting. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about your business journey. How did you get to where you are today? Uh, well, it's been definitely full of trials and, well, trails, I should say, um, trials as well and successes. Um, I've always been a visionary with an entrepreneurial heart and both of those things have always been in my blood and bones. And But I haven't always listened to those um callings and what's really there as a kid i had my own business i loved creating dance shows and other things and um for a while that got put on the back burner that creative entrepreneurial spirit um i did like office management work and event planning administrative assistant and while it really gave me the skills to help me where i am now it wasn't my it's never been my full calling um, so I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts in dance. I love the body, yes. Um, and um, I recently got my master's in theology. So I love spirituality, thank you. It's one of my big accomplishments for the year. Uh, so right now I just, I really love supporting people at intersections of spirituality, embodiment, transition fear and really just stepping into those callings and like what does that mean what does it look like and it can be so different from for everyone but i love helping people weave together all of their gifts and um supporting them so it's definitely been a journey to get where i am and now i'm like all right i'm fully committed i'm doing this <laughs> for sure yeah i especially appreciate what you said about kind of putting those things behind because I did the same sort of thing. And then I was like super administrative and I was like, I'm going to be an operations, you know, the VP or something like that. I had these dreams of being a really great operational person. And then I'd see these people that are so much better than me at it. And I'm like, well, maybe I just need to go back to what I always <laughs> yeah. was in the first place, which was more creative. I can do the operational stuff, but there are people who that's their zone of genius. Yeah, so you're in that opposite pathway. Sometimes it's almost like you're fighting uphill to do something that seems more reasonable or logical. <laughs> yes. And I have learned that, yeah, it's like swimming up the current and um, rather than going with the flow of your own blood, bones, your zone of genius. And yeah, um, yeah I am love and am really great at event planning and management, but. Oh man, yeah, not not for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the world is ever changing and flowing like the water right now. What are some of the things that you're seeing in the world that relate back to kind of what you do and what would you kind of say is new and interesting in your industry right now? Yeah. So with coaching or like spiritual mentoring, I'm really seeing a lot of courses being offered and webinars, classes, more and more and people craving that space of like education as well as community. Like I'm also seeing people creating these really big programs to provide people a space of community. And I love those things. I love facilitating, but I also am still really attuned to creating one-on-one -on -one relationships because I really believe people need a space to just be themselves and authentically express what they need to in their lives. And um, with COVID, it's like, we're so separated. It's so nice to be able to have a connection like we're doing right now to be like, hey, someone else, someone new. <laughs> yeah, I think that's super meaningful. Like in the beginning of uh, all of these things that were happening, um, I members called me a lot and I realized I spent a lot of time on the phone because in times of um, 
in tumultuous times, people just need to connect and they just need to be like, okay, can we just talk? Yeah. <laughs> and it just makes such a difference. And I do see there also is, I've seen a lot of people coming up with online courses and things like that because they were trying to pivot and figure out what else they could do to serve people when they can't be with them in person. Um, I even have an, I have an old online class that I made like five years ago and it's been selling. Like I, I was like, well, I don't even have my payment information or tax information in the tool that I was using. And they're like, we have, we have money. We can't pay you. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks. What has happened to the world? Y'all are <laughs> looking at this old class. <laughs> I need to update it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think that's great that people are craving that information or trying to connect in different ways. But I'm like, oh, I just still love reaching out to people personally and saying like, hey, how are you? Like, what's unfolding? What's happening? So, yeah. yeah. We recently did a sales training and one of the sales training, the sales trainer, one of my personal mentors and, and somebody I follow has just been teaching people, call people, call them. People are looking for like, well, how much can I post on social media or should I do this or should I do that? He's like, no, just call people, talk yeah. to them. <laughs> Yes, like, yes, I want to talk to you. They need it so much. <laughs> yes, like, oh, a new voice that I haven't heard before, like, <laughs> connected with. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I love that. And that's something my mentor and I have talked about, too, is like, especially I have some webinars up now as well. But it's like, I don't want to just post everywhere, which I I will share, but it's like, oh, I just want to know that maybe this can really support someone and really call them and say, hey, this is what's happening. And I thought of you and here's why. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And so tell us a little bit about some of the latest accomplishments that you have. Well, I mentioned one already, but really the, my master's was a huge accomplishment this year. It's been in the works for five years. I tried two universities in Seattle that weren't the right fit for me. And still I had the dream of getting my master's. And so I moved to LA and found an amazing school, Loyola Marymount University and um, got my master's in theology. And, uh, I emphasized in comparative theology, spirituality, and the body. Um, I loved that I was able to dance in ways because I do believe dance really brings out that spirituality or can really inform our spiritual thinking and lives. So that's probably the biggest one. And then really committing to my business, like full time. Thank you, COVID, for that. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. yeah. those yeah. are both amazing accomplishments. <laughs> and so I hope that you're able to use every bit of what you've learned in school and to be able to provide great support and mentorship to other people and dance, dance, dance. <laughs> yes, exactly. I know. Like, let's everyone dance and have fun. And yeah. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about um, how we can keep in touch with you and anything else that you want to leave us with. Well, one, I definitely want to just give gratitude to you for creating Women of Denver and giving like a beautiful space for genuine connection. Um, so that's one. Thank you. Thank and you. Yeah. Uh, Right now, I'm still working on my website, but I do have two events up on Eventbrite, one for September and October. The first one in September is called Meeting Us at Our Crossroads, and the one in October is Transforming Ancestral Curses to Luck. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> no. That's a really unique topic. Yes. <laughs> um, I have found that learning more about my own ancestral history and uh, some of their beliefs and mindsets, those things get passed down generations as well as trauma adaptations. So how can we shift those to healing and light and luck? So, yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you for sharing that. We'll put the links, give me the links and I can go ahead and make sure I share those um, when I post this to social media. So thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me. I really love um, getting to see you a little bit, <laughs> say hello in a little intimate 
conversation that gets to be shared with other people to get to meet and get to know you a little bit more. Thank you, Crystal. I really appreciate it and I appreciate your time. Have a great one. You Bye. Too. Thank you. <laughs>